For many people, P.T. Barnum remains a controversial figure. On the one hand, he stood up for freedom of speech and spoke out against the Calvinistic rhetoric. On the other hand, he exploited an African-American woman to get his new business up and running. One must remember that the man was a product of his time, as most people are. This era of American history was not without its dark chapters. Phineas had understood that people were attracted to idiosyncrasies, things that negated the monotony of their daily lives. Joyce Heth had been one such oddity, but now he needed another, or several others. He had peeked into the public consciousness, and it was clear that in the age of the Industrial Revolution, novelty sold more than anything else.